Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a special guest. Well, he's kind of been a special guest in a bunch of videos. Look, Mackenzie. Look at that. Look, look. Oh, who's that? I thought it'd be appropriate to kind of have him hanging around since we're going to be talking about my newborn must-haves. So let's get started. baby boy well not just had but I had him about four months ago he just turned four months old so I thought that this would be appropriate time to do my newborn must-haves of course now I'll be able to tell you what I think are essential having my second child I feel like my first newborn must-haves video had a lot of content and this I've kind of just stuck to what I really think were my essentials and what I've just really been loving with having my second little baby. So yeah, let's let's just get to the point and, and get started with this video. So first things first, my absolutely number one must have, whoa, what is this? But number one is these slippers. I have mentioned these so many times in favorites videos for Kaden, in favorites videos like for Mackenzie, in just, just, just what I love and these are pad rig slippers the reason I think that these are essential for newborn is because they kick a lot and I have put socks on my baby's feet and they like both children they just kick them off they never stay on and I'm wanting to keep their feet warm these are awesome these are obviously not newborn size these are the size up because this is what Mackenzie's wearing at this moment but they have little ties on them, so you can tie them onto their feet and they're not gonna be able to kick them off and their feet are gonna stay warm. You need these in your life. I don't know if these are available in America because they're made in Canada. I assume they would be, but I'll have the name, like it's Padraig. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but the name's floating right here, so you know what it's called? Check it out. Check it out. Buy them if you're having a baby. They're so stinking cute. My next newborn must have is something I never had with Kaden, but I got with Mackenzie and I wish I had with Kaden. This is a Wubba Nub. Yep, that's what it's called. This is just a cute little pacifier attached to a toy. They come with many different toy options. Um, I just, I don't know why I'm like so obsessed with giraffes right now. So I got Mackenzie a little giraffe. It's just one of those like almost, it's called a soothie, but I assume it's like the gumdrop pacifier. The reason I love this so much is because they don't know how to hold things. They're just, yeah, and suckies are gonna fall out of their mouths all the time. Now this night might be essential if you're not gonna be giving your child the password, but I gave mine. The good thing is they can kind of hold it there when they're first starting to figure out how to hold, and when they don't know how to hold or dropping it all the time, it's easy for you to find, especially driving. If they drop it, this is way easier to find than just this in a car seat. My next newborn must have is the Aiden and Anae's receiving blankets. I never had these with Kaden and I wish I did, but now I know going forward, these are the bomb. These are the best swaddling blankets ever. First off, they're super soft and they're like more natural materials, I guess, I'm assuming, I think so. Ah, it's a muslin blanket, so I assume so. And it's huge, do you see that? It's so big, it just makes it so easy for swaddling them and also they can have many different purposes. We use this a lot for swaddling Mackenzie. We also used it just as a blanket and we use it as a spit up rag because it's very absorbent and they're just cute and big and soft and I just love them. Um, I don't think I'd ever go back to the regular receiving blankets because this is just way better. The next thing I wanna mention is a breastfeeding cover now this might not be essential if you're not breastfeeding but me as a breastfeeding mother these are my newborn essential must-haves so this is just from utter covers I actually got this for free I had this with Kaden this is the same one I used with him and I love it it's just got a string and kind of like a plastic thing so when you put it and you need to breastfeed you put it over like this hangs like this and this hangs out so you're still able to look down see your baby but your tatas are covered and you're not gonna be flashing everyone. So, love this. Another thing I find essential is a good lotion. Now, I've been through the mill with different lotions for my kids. They both have sensitive skin, so I needed to find something I really, really liked that was unscented and just, I don't know, the best for them. And what I love is the Aveeno Baby Lotion. I use this one right now, both on Caden and Mackenzie, and it's the best. This is fragrance free and it's made with Holy Deal Oatmeal. Yep. I do use the brand Aveeno on myself as well because 
time to time I can get eczema on my legs and it's just the one thing that really helps so I just I trust this brand I, I, I love Avino and I just think it has to be an essential it doesn't matter like if your kids have sensitive skin or not but a, a lotion is an essential because your kids you want to protect their skin it's so fragile when they're first born you need to be moisturizing them every day two more things left I really tried to keep this short sweet but I like to ramble so this video is probably long the next one, I never use this with Kaden, and I wish I did, and I use this all the time. This is like a big, huge wrap, woo, here that I bought from a mom. Like, it's just like a handmade one by a mom, and I love it. It's just one of those ones that wraps all around your body, and you can baby wear your baby. Especially having two kids, this was an essential because Mackenzie, when he was little, was always needing to be held, but of course I can't forget about my two-year-old, so I'm having to chase around a two-year-old while holding him. It just made a lot of things, well, everything a lot easier. I was able to multitask a lot better, and just holding him just made it easier. And even my fiance, he used it all the time too, so women, it like, it was just awesome. I was just so proud to see my fiance baby wearing. Not gonna lie, it, it, it was about, it, it touched my heart. Yeah, that's really corny, but I just loved it. It just it made my life a lot easier having two kids. It just, I, I wish I baby wore Kaden a lot more. I think my life would have been easier if I realized how important, not important, how much easier baby wearing makes your life. But now we've upgraded to the Ergo, so, but I still love this. I still use it from time to time. But we used it a lot in the first four months. Hey, buddy. And my very last newborn must-have is a nursing pillow. This is the exact same nursing pillow I had with Kaden. It just has a new cover on it, which I bought when I was pregnant with Mackenzie. And the reason I love it is it just makes it so easy. Like, it's just awesome. You put it uh, uh, underneath like this, and I can still use it. And I can lie my little baby down. He's up at my breast height, as you can see. And he's getting ready to eat now. He's like, Mom, feed me. Don't don't trick me. Just feed me. But it just makes it a lot easier, especially if you have grandparents. It makes holding the newborn baby a lot easier on them. It's not going to stress their arms out. So I just think even if you're not breastfeeding, it's, it's a really good thing to have because it makes holding your baby a lot easier, especially for relatives, all that, and you in general. Like if you have a C-section, this makes it so easy to just plop them on the pillow and just hold them and they're closer up to your face and you're not having to like, you know, well other than that, that looks like I don't know how to hold a baby. But yeah, this video was kind of rambly. I was trying to be a little quick because this guy's hungry. He wants to eat, you know, you know, but yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please share in the comments down below what are some of your newborn must-have essentials, um, just so we can share, we can chit-chat. And if you, you aren't know. already, please subscribe, because I put out a new video every single week, usually on Wednesdays. Sometimes it's not always first thing in the morning, but nine times out of 10, it's on a Wednesday and not a Thursday. Um, so yeah, just click that button right up there and you'll be able to subscribe. Also, check out last week's video, which is linked down there. I did a collab with my friend Jessica from the Mommy Archives, and we talked about our fall and winter essentials for toddler. And yeah, that is all for this video, guys. Uh, I love you all to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!